let's deal with second example of the chapter VB is over. I will prove you that VB has been over with this chapter. Okay. So this time I'm going to save my Excel file with some specific names. Suppose I am going to type some number here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 10 number. Okay. What I'm going to do, I have created a blank folder on my desktop. See, here's the location. See, user wiggle gen desktop with new folder now. So, type some random numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, I'm going to save my Excel file with ten names. Okay, so again, go to view. Sorry, developer tab, record macro. I'm not going to give any shortcut here. Or you can give save my. I'm giving my description file with specific names. So click OK. Now record. Recording has been started, so click F12 to save as your work file. See, save as, type, click desktop, click new folder which you have created. Okay, click one, save. This is asking whether do you want to save your workbook without macro enable? Click no. Here, click Macro Enable Workbook, click Save. Okay, now stop recording. See, my one workbook has been created, and I am going to create nine more workbook with this example. Okay, so click F11, press F11. Okay, we'll maximize it and so go to Module One. Now, here is the code. Okay, so here, see the file name is here one dot excel sm. Okay, so let's define our last row again. Last row equal to cell rows dot count comma and Excel up comma sorry dot row so this is the last row for I equal to one two last row so this is this variable has been started okay so delete this just type double quotes now your code has been completed here concatenate with last row and last row now again concatenate with your xlm file what i have did just i have removed my i here and concatenate my sorry i have deleted my one number here and i have concatenated with i so, press enter. Something is wrong here. Press space now. It is working properly. Next, I. Okay. So, run. Whether do you want to replace since we have already saved our workbook? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so check our folder. One is easier. Then run. It is not working. Let me check again through F8. Click two since one number is already saved. Save 
Uh, one is not working. We have done some mistake. So we have done a mistake. The mistake is yeah here. We have not typed the number one column. So now run, run. Check the file. Run. Now check the file. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I told you I have not never taught you the how to save the file in your folder and how to save your file with this location or this location. What I have did just record my macro and connect it with looping or type a last row statement. So this is the chapter. VB is over. Believe me, VB is over. Just a simple thing you have to do. Record your macro and customize your macro. So 